getting ready for winter. You can see that we have our wood stove installed. Bam, wood stove, chimney going up. But check this out. This is our problem. Come outside and there's no chimney. So when we roofed the house, we took the chimney out. Now we've got to put the chimney back in. Here's some of our chimney pipe right here. Some of it is over there. And we've got this cool piece of flashing right here that we're going to install on the roof. But first we've got to locate where we're gonna actually cut the hole, cut the hole in the roof, and then we can move on to installing the flashing. So we just put this piece of OSB across the stair opening here so we can walk over here. Then we just cut away the plastic here and we've got access into here, right? This is the fire box where the chimney comes up from the wood stove. And then right up here is actually where we're gonna cut the hole for the chimney. All right. How's it looking there? Good. Hello. Hello. Looks dry. Yeah. Dry and clean. And there's our hole. <laughs> Can see the metal. <laughs> So this cement board, the inspector asked us to put something non-flammable up here so that insulation couldn't accidentally fall down into that box. So the plan is we take our plumb bob here and we'll hold it up against the roof because when you are gonna cut a hole in the roof at an angle, it's actually gonna turn into an oval. So we'll take this and we'll hang it down to the opening of the stove pipe where it comes into the box. And then we can mark up here where to cut. And then we can move it around the circle. And then hopefully we'll have a nice oval shape on the back, back of that metal that we can then cut out. That's the plan anyway. Let's see how it works. So basically, we're hanging the plumb bob right down in there like this right here. And then as we get it lined up up here, right, like that, we then mark a line, just like this little dot right there, or that little line. Then we know straight up from where we had that plumb bob on the bottom, that's the top right up there. That's how we're doing it. Now for the big moment. Drilling a hole in the roof. <laughs> how do you feel? Good. I feel good. <laughs> All right, here we go. So we got it this far from inside. Now we're gonna go up on the roof and try to finish cutting it out from up there. Might be a little easier. We have a 912 pitched roof, which means you can't just go walking on it without any harness. So we got the truck pulled over here and we're gonna throw a rope and harness over the roof. Oh, there it goes, he just threw it. So we're gonna attach that side to the rack here on the truck and then Marty will be harnessed up on the other side. So Marty's up on the roof right now. He's finishing cutting out that hole and Seth is working on cleaning out the chimney pipe. <laughs> so that's the very, very top that goes on the chimney and Seth's washing that out. Yeah. Quite a bit of creosote from last season. Oh yeah. All clean.
hoping that it'll fit in there with the rope. Oh yeah. That would be nice. Keep it as a unit. Do you need me to go in and guide it from the inside? No found things. <laughs> oh, Marty. Wow. My life flashed before my eyes. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Thanks, dude. Smarty's so using that little level, small level, to get it, there. get it plumb all the way around. Don't want to have a Crooked chimney. Marty's ready for this. There we go. Can you reach it? Yep. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Ooh, I bet it's gonna work. Let's see if it's gonna fit without having to add one more piece of pipe. I know it's a little hard to see from down here, but Marty's marking the metal where we need to make some cuts into it. Oh, cut it. Okay, so far here, we've cut out a big ugly hole in the roof. Cause that piece right there is gonna slip up underneath here and then it's gonna come down and cover all this whole area up right here. So we got the flashing set up there. We're gonna go up and get ready to screw it down, mount it and seal it. We got a drill, we got our cock, we got screws. Hopefully we've got everything we need. Jules is gonna help by sending up the pieces of chimney as we need them. And hopefully we'll be done pretty soon before it gets too hot on the roof. Alright, Marty is ready for the collar to go on, so I'm going to take that up to him. Alright, he's already got it all screwed down and also cocked around the edges. And now we're working on the collar. And it's very hot now, right? <laughs> yeah, it's hot. No doubt about that. The chimney is in, guys, and it looks great. That hole was pretty ugly, man, when we cut it out. But that flashing there, it covers it all up beautifully, right? It tucks right up in underneath the roofing, and then you screw it down, and you cock it, and all of that, and it's watertight. Obviously, it's watertight, right? It's raining, but we are dry inside. We cleaned out that box, right? You saw, like, there was, there was uh, sawdust and stuff down in that the box where the chimney connects into. We cleaned all that out, vacuumed all that out. And um, as you saw, we were vacuuming out the top of the stove, right? Whew, there was a lot of creosote from last year. We're gonna have to work on that this winter, but check it out. Oh, the stove, man. 
and we put it up on this pedestal here, or I don't know, we'll call it a stage. It's a platform for the stove right there. Goes up like that, just like before. And this platform, it's an experiment for this winter to see if we like it up that high. But so far, we really like it. We've been burning um, a fire for a few days now. And what's really cool is uh, you can sit right on it. It's a good hype to sit on. And then you got the stove right here keeping you warm, right? You can sit right here in front of it. You could probably fit about four people sitting on there if they want to. And so the stove is working out great. If you'd like to see a video about how we actually installed the stove when we installed it originally, you can look down in the description of the video. There are some links down there for you. Otherwise, I hope you have a really great day. Keep smiling. And I will see you over in that video in just a second.